Okay guys, so don't mind how I look today. I look a absolute mess, but um, we're actually at Hobby Lobby right now and I'm actually gonna be showing you guys what we are doing for today. So today we're gonna be doing a DIY canvas setup for my place. So I'll basically bring you guys along with me today and show you a little bit about what I'm buying today and the whole process once I get home, period. Okay guys, so this is what we have picked up so far. Um, I couldn't find like a super big canvas, so I ended up going with the 16 by 20, two packs of those. So that should be really cute. And I saw this super cute little gold painting or whatever wall art and I thought that would be really cute so I'm trying to debate on if I want to get this or not for another part of the house and this is the paint that I'm going to be using um let me know if you guys have ever used this master touch fine art studio acrylic paint because I don't even know if this is the right paint that I'm supposed to be using for canvas but I want it to be like super DIY but also super like go with my thing that I'm going for. Um, so right now I'm just looking at a few more things. We just apparently we're hanging out in Hobby Lobby today. I've been here for like an hour, you guys. Like, what the fuck? So I'm looking at these. Maybe we'll decide on one of these instead of the art. I don't know how I feel about that. Gold isn't like gold in the living room. I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, so we're back in the car. Oh my God, it is so fucking cold today. So literally as I'm walking out the door, y'all see that cute ass chair that I was just about to get in the last clip. As I'm walking out the door, I'm walking to my car with the chair. The chair just starts to fall apart in the car, bitch. Like all the screws and bolts and stuff just start coming out. I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is so ghetto. So shame on you, Hobby Lobby. So I had to put the chair back. So we did just end up getting the canvases and the paint today, which is what we came to get anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how um, the idea that I'm gonna be going for and like how everything's gonna come together for the wall. So it's basically gonna be like six canvases on that one wall and it's gonna all like tie in together. So I'm super excited. Um, Oh, I forgot to get command strips. So we gotta go and get some command strips. It's the office max right here. I might go in there. Okay, I'll be back later. Okay guys, so I just got home. And as you can see here, we have the 16 by 20 canvases that are gonna be going up on this wall. Oh, and I also have my couch. Um, if you guys haven't seen that in the previous blog, I'm still waiting on my, to order my TV, bitch, um, one step at a time for sure. So the canvases are gonna be going above this couch. Um, and I think I'm gonna end up doing four. And then I'm gonna have like two lamps on either side that are gonna basically correlate in with the table, which is really cute. So yeah, I'll show you guys how that process ends up going. Okay, you guys, so it's freezing cold outside and I actually wanted to go outside to do this, but as you can see, I got fucking paint everywhere. So I'm about to try to hurry up and clean it up before it dries. But I kind of wanted to show you guys like what's going on. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of really fucking loving it because I feel like people won't know I did this myself. Um, it's not perfect, but you know, there's pain in there. Like that's pain, baby. There's pain, there's anger and rigidness, there's joy and laughter, there's dancing in the wind. So there's a lot going on here and I'm glad that I did it myself. So I'm gonna add a few more like just like paint throughout it and then I'll start mounting it on that wall. So yeah, I'm super excited. Okay guys, before it gets too dark in here, I'm putting up the pieces now. So those are like the first two and the rest are down here. Um, again, like these are like 
all little abstract pieces that I decided to do for my living room, just to have my own little touch to the place. So I'm just trying to see how wide I want to do them from one another. I think I'm about to have to bring that one down just a little bit, give it a little bit of space. But it looks so far back on the camera, but it's actually really... Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. So as you can see, I waited until the next morning to show you guys how the process came out. So this is like the setup in my living area. This is how the paintings came out and they're up on the wall. So I just think that came out so fucking cute. And I think it makes the ceilings look even higher. And yeah, I love that. So yeah, guys, so you can definitely do your own little DIY paintings and stuff for in your home. I'm gonna end up putting that one over here probably. I'm not really sure yet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today.